Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm uh, here in Goiad, Texas State Park, and I've got uh, registered here for another night. I'm gonna go around and check out uh, a couple of the missions and a couple of other sites. I'm gonna go have breakfast at the uh, Water Well Cafe again, and that ought to be uh, pretty good because it was really good yesterday. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the road. Lone Star Rider. Well, I just had breakfast over at the uh, Waterwell uh, Cafe here in Goliad, Texas, and it was an awesome breakfast. If you're here for breakfast, or I don't know, anytime, get their ranchero sauce. Oh my God, that's to die for. Awesome. Love that stuff. That, it's just like candy. If I lived here and I ate here every day, I'd be a lot fatter. Oh my gosh, it's so good there. All right, I'm a... Uh, there's supposed to be a Masonic uh, building here that's been here forever. One of the oldest. Uh, this building here, uh, the Mason Lodge, has been meeting here since 1854. This is uh, the, one of the oldest buildings that they have continually been meeting here, which is pretty cool. Uh, this building was built in 1852. They had a some kind of church worship here. They also, on uh, the first floor, there used to be a post office here, and the city hall was also occupied here on the uh, first floor too. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty neat building. This is a very cool and very, very old building. Got this tree here. It's almost in the middle of the street. <laughs> next to the uh, the building. It was a good place for me to park. Well, they got a tree right over there, right in the middle of the street. Wow, that one looks pretty cool. There's the uh, signs for the Masons that have been meeting here forever. It's really cool that they built uh, the streets around the trees and not have them taken down especially that one that is a gorgeous tree and so is that one where my motorcycle is parked next to I've seen this several places already very cool all right this monument here in Goliad um, looks similar to the one out there at the Fannin Battlefield I'll have to check the pictures and see got a couple of cannons out here it's a kind of a memorial, it looks like. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's uh, an actual cannon used by Colonel Fannin and his men on Fannin's battlefield. A ladybug on me. And got another uh, cannon over here. Found on the streets of Goliad after the Battle of 1836. Oh, this town is just full of history. I'm not seeing a uh, placard or anything. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, historical marker uh, for Goliad, the town of Goliad here. And uh, that's pretty cool. If you want to pause and read it, please do. Well, I'm here at the uh, Farm Market Museum here in Goliad, Texas. Um, very two nice ladies over there. I forgot their names already. Dad, Peggy and something else. Uh, anyway, um, checking it out. Let's take a look. A bunch of old stuff. Goliad Broom Factory. Well, that's interesting. I guess this is a machine. It is, actually, it is a machine that makes brooms. Very cool. Now, I have seen one of these hydrometers. And I believe the one I saw was in uh, Decatur in a museum. If I remember right, it had a, uh, a skeleton in a box right next to it. But yep, I've seen one of these. 
Very cool. Very cool uh, cash register over there in this old safe too. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the La Presidio La Bahia Mission. Yeah, I ask how to pronounce it. Presidio La Bahia. <laughs> Let's go check this place out. Part of Texas when it belonged to Mexico, the state of Mexico. Well, Susan and Bill gave a great tour of uh, the chapel and the Presidio here. Uh, very cool. You got to check this place out because it's a lot of Texas history and it's a, uh, it's really cool. Uh, this is the Texas Independence flagpole with the uh, Texas Independence flag. Uh, this area was the uh, the barracks for the guys that were single. The uh, married guys got to stay with the families and stuff. The mission here, the Presidio, all this here was re refurbished, redone, uh, built up because it was basically in rubbles. The mission is pretty much been there the whole time. Uh, because it's still an active church. Uh, the Catholic Church bought this area back and when they were having service, they didn't really care about the rest of this stuff and it kind of went into uh, uh, ruins until it was decided to bring all this back. The grave site of Colonel J.W. Fanning and his men. They estimate about 400 men. There were people who got escaped and people who were not executed, uh, like doctors, blacksmiths, stuff, people that they could use. But definitely, uh, this was uh, very sad. Uh, Santa Ana ordered their execution, and if they didn't get executed, uh, the people here that carried out the execution, their families and themselves would be executed if they didn't follow through. So I don't know what would you do if you got an order like that and you didn't want to carry it out. All right, this is the uh, short story. Colonel Fannin was ordered to retreat and retreat back to Victoria. He delayed because he had some men out and he, he didn't know that they were already captured and were killed by the uh, Mexican army. So when he finally did retreat, about nine miles east of here, there, where the battleground is, is where they had the Fannin battleground. Well, they ended up uh, surrendering after a couple of days uh, because they were running out of ammunition and so forth. And then they were marched back over to Goliad, Presidio over here. Uh, General Santa Ana, ordered their deaths and they were taken out in the uh, Presidio and shot. They took all the remains out here uh, and they burned them in piles. Ended up burying them and they suspected it's about 400 uh, men that were buried out here. Burned and buried. That's the short story for the, uh, the Fan in Battlefield. It's a sad one, and uh, this is a really good monument to that. Uh, this historical sign and statue is put here 
for the Angel of Goliad. She ended up uh, over in at the King Ranch uh, working there and she's buried there now. Also, he was the hero of Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. The hero of Cinco de Mayo. It's Espiritu Santo de Zuniga. But you can just say Espiritu Santo, everyone will know what you're talking about. All righty. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it. Howdy, y'all. I'm so right here. I'm at Goliad, Texas State Park, and I'm here at Espiritu. Um, <laughs> uh, he just told me how to pronounce this. The Spirit Mission. I'm here at Mission Espiritu Santo. Yeah, <laughs> let's go check it out. Uh, I've been staying here at the uh, state park, Goliad State Park. Uh, this is my second day uh, or night to stay. I've been out and about. Uh, last stop for the day, and then I gotta go do laundry, and then I'm dinner. I'm done. Really tall mission. From this historical marker, you can see that the name is a lot longer than what there, it is over there on the, uh, the sign over there. Mission Nestrata Senora del Espirito Santo de I just butchered the hell out of all this. Zingata? Zingat? Zingata? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here in the museum. saw a couple of missions visited the museum downtown did just a whole bunch of stuff talk with Pat at the uh, best little gun store in Texas he's got a lot of uh, knowledge of this town which is very cool went and ate over at the, uh, the water well cafe again um, I was gonna get a salad but Tommy talked me into a uh, chicken fried steak and it was awesome and you couldn't finish it it was huge cut it in pieces and made sandwiches out of it for later be heading out of town tomorrow so <laughs> and it's supposed to be windy all right guys y'all are not subscribed to me y'all should be click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road here in Goliad, Texas. I know the battery is low. Catch y'all on the road. Well, that's the shadow there, isn't it?